All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're gonna to talk about this test system I built for Linux. Now some are gonna ask, why did I build a dedicated system to put Linux on? I've got Proxmox, I've got multiple Windows machines, I can do dual boot. I want an isolated system so that I could just play. Never used Linux before. Most of the stuff I have in here is actually very critical to my workflow or fun time. I don't want to mess up my gaming PC. Sure don't want to mess up my editing PC and I don't want to break anything on my Proxmox server and I really don't have enough cores to dedicate to a proper Linux box in its current configuration with an i3. My Unraid server I want to keep as isolated as possible because that contains all of my footage archives. You know, I don't want to mess with that and have something, you know, I screw up something and I'm not a Linux expert, so I don't want to have a mess up that I messed up and have to go in and burn it down and rebuild it. So I want to have just a dedicated Linux box. If you watched last week's video, the X99 board I got <laughs> did not work. So I got another one. This is actually a full ATX build because I could not get that one in time. Now I did not build it on camera. Because of the problem I had with the last system, I just built it off camera. Now the box it is in is my old NAS chassis. This is just a Fractal Design R5, I believe. Fractal Design for sure, but just an R5 chassis. And I have it. Graphics card is upgrade for my kids PC. When I got a 3080 for my gaming PC, they got my 2080. So really I've got less than $200 in the motherboard, the cooler, and all that. So it's really a cheap build. But the whole point of this is I'm going to install Linux on it and play with different distros. So I blow it up, do a new distro, play with that one, see how I like it, move on to the next one. All right, very quickly, let's go over the specs of this new Linux box. It is a X99 motherboard, a Xeon V4 processor. It is 64 gigabytes of ECC memory, 2133. I can't overclock it. It's got a 1660 Ti in it. It's just a basic Xeon platform, cheap. That's why I went with it nothing real special you know it may eventually wind up in a server as a proxmox server or a true nas bare metal install we'll see but right now it is my linux test system again i could have done it virtually but until i migrate my true nas slash proxmox server to a larger cpu which ultimately it may be this one it may be something else but I need more cores to do more virtual machines. And well, this is a V4 Xeon, so I've got plenty of computing power if I decide to migrate this into my 2U chassis. Or I may go to something different, you never know. Fun part about home labbing, you can always change it. Important to note, I am not doing the Linus Linux challenge, no. <laughs> I couldn't even if I wanted to where I work, we use Windows 10, we use Windows Server, and well, that's not an option for me to try to use Linux at work. And my home workflow, I just, I don't have the time to try to edit on Linux distro and try to figure it out with my production schedule for my other channel. You know, this channel, if something happened, yeah, I could probably deal with it. It's not a big deal if I miss the Sunday upload. But the fact of the matter is, is my main channel, they expect me to put out three videos a week and I can't have that kind of, well, <laughs> problem in my workflow. I only have so much time working a full-time job, long commute, family, and et cetera. So this is merely to play with. And I wanted to get y'all's feedback. What Linux distro should I go with first? Should I go with something, you know, full on like Debian? I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you know, should I go with a distro like that? Or should I go with something easy like Mint? Or should I go to Ubuntu? Let me know what you think I should try first as a novice, <laughs> novice Linux user. Now, my use case is just to play around with it, see what I can do. 
I don't plan on gaming on it. I really only play one game. It's only a couple hours on the weekend that I get to play it. It's a FPS, so, and I'm not trying to do that with a 1660 Ti and when a, you know, 75 hertz monitor. So it's just not something I'm interested in doing because I don't get that much gaming time and I really want to enjoy that time instead of, you know, <laughs> trying to fix Linux problems with gaming. I don't want to go down that route. I just want to play with it, see what I can do, see what kind of fun I can have. So let me know in the comments what distro you think I should try out first. The whole point of this box is just to play with Linux. I've got an isolated system, so if I brick it, I can just burn it down and redo it with a different distro or figure out what I did wrong. It's just to play, so let me know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.